Hello and welcome to the video and thank you so much for checking out the channel. I am the Cosmic Turtle and today we'll, we will be starting a playthrough for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order on the Xbox Series X. Um, this game was recently optimized for the Series X, um, Series S and the PS5. Uh, I believe it was a few weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer. I'm a bit uh, slow on this one. But um, so we're going to be doing a full playthrough for the game. I'll probably do a uh, new journey plus just to I don't make it more enjoyable for me because I've played through this game a few times up until now. So um, on the website here it says a uh, high level summary of features, improved frame rate for the Series X slash S and PS5, improved dynamic resolution ranges for a higher resolution experience on X, S and PS5. Improved post-processing resolution for Series X and PS5, but not for the S. Uh, console specifics, Series S frame rate has been increased to 60 uh, and uh, up, for, oh, up from 45 frames, so it's 15 extra frames. Uh, Series X performance mode is now 60 frames, um, or a dynamic, oh no, and a dynamic resolution added up uh, to 1440p from 1080p so that's gone up a bit series x normal mode is post processing has increased to 4k and then dynamic resolution has gone from 1520p to 2160 uh, ps5 up to 60 frames increased to 1440p um, dynamic resolution has been disabled and the game is rendering at 1200p up from 1080 to uh, 810 to 1080 so it seems like the Series X has a higher dynamic resolution than the PS5 but from what I understand the PS5 has a bigger improvement like the game looks better on PS5 compared to PS4 like the difference is better than from 1X to Series X apparently like the Series X play, uh, no the 1X played it better than the PS4 so the jump to the next gens is more noticeable on the PlayStation side of things. If that, if you get me, right? We're gonna start up this by here, but let me make sure you can hear me and that I'm not a tit and wasted all my words there. I'm also on the Xbox, so I can't see any messages. They don't come through on the screen. Right? We're gonna play on Jedi Knight. I've already got a playthrough on Jedi Master and Jedi Grand Master. So if you want to see those, um, just check out my YouTube. You can see me struggle a lot on that, and struggle a bit. Well, actually, struggle about equally because this was my first ever playthrough. So I learned the game on that one, then I went back for that one, and I was better at the game. But as you can see, it's a uh, twice as hard. <laughs> so we're just gonna be playing on a nice casual Jedi Knight because this is just for fun. This isn't for torture. Oh, you have to hold it down. All right. So yeah, let's get right into it and not waste any more time. Yeah, um, if I notice things looking better than what I believe they used to, I'll try to point it out. But as I have stated before, I am legally blind, so I'm not really the authority on things looking better. I'm also playing on a 4K TV now when I wasn't before, so... Things are bound to look better, even if this wasn't the optimised version on the most current gen anyway. So, Fantastic game though if you haven't played it. It's on the uh, Game Pass uh, with EA Plays. We have the EA service is called. So I guess if you get the EA Play, you can also get this on the PS5 as well. So that would be a separate service from the uh, like the PlayStation One. Listen, I don't want to upset your rhythm, oh, there he is, the little Cal Kestis here. Yeah, I got blind man subtitles on, so you have to bear with me there. An error has been detected on line ten A. All are clamps are jammed. An error. I need two workers this is to unacceptable. 
Right, let me quickly do the tag spear because I got end game. I'm not doing end game anymore. Uh, so look here. Musician, no back, no spoilers. Playing with you, Portuguese. I wonder how many people would be disappointed if they came here for Portuguese. Uh, what have we got here? What's AMA? ADHD. AMA. Ally. Really? There's an ally tag now. Okay. So I'm just going to stay away from those. Brit uh, I'm British. Well, I'm Welsh, but British, British is the closest I can get. Let's do that one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I should complain now because they haven't uh, represented my specific country. Bet my partner's listening to this, loving at this British here, not Welsh. Sorry, Cal. Don't worry about it. Oh, well done, mate. Alright, so I've done New Game Plus. Do I get to keep all my customizations? Where is this? <gasps> Inquisitor? Where was that thing? Oh my god. I'm wearing that. After you, kid. I've never seen this one before. Well, you look at that. <laughs> Separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Oh, me ages. neither, my man. Breaking her will be big money. Alright. Go. We'll be getting top dollar for those, I assume. That's a fantastic game though. See if we can't notice more stuff in the background then. Any little easter eggs. Looks like a capital ship above my head, or by my head but there, look. Well they all kind of look at them. Been playing that uh, Galaxy of Heroes. Could just be generic ships, though. To be fair, out of the way, my man. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ladders out, though. Let's roll. Slide. Hey, no problem. I already have props. You mark this barge immediately. You are not okay. approved trash. And trash? Just not approved trash. Yeah. That's uh, an interesting way of wording it, isn't it? You're not approved trash. I ain't trash of any kind, damn you. I can't believe I've got an Inquisitor outfit though. I wonder if I've missed out on this. Like, I've done like three playthroughs for this game, or four playthroughs. Just passing through. Streamed two of them, at least. Or at least uploaded two of them. I might have streamed the third one. I, I don't think I have though. But I never knew there was an Inquisitor outfit. So the water looks really nice. I'm not sure if that's something that's been improved. I just made more noticeable now. Nice. Nice bit of sewer sludge there. Come on, Cal. Sounds like scrap. Funny though, if they made this Creepy. game for this console, they wouldn't even need through, to be guys. doing this because we need to come this out is obviously to help load in the next area, just make it seem uh, seamless. But that would not need to be that long. Up we go. Meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. And off we go. Ah, oh, great. I needed that to continue my climbing. Slow and steady now. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? I dropped down. Huh? Yeah, that's right. How did you get here? Oh shit, I turned away for one second. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Yeah, my bad. And off we go. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go down, haven't we? And we drop and hold forward. No, how'd you grab on then? There we go. That's better. Get another slide. Yeah, no, it's a great looking game. Scrapper! Alright, jump across. For fuck's sake, why do I keep not looking? <laughs> I'm assuming I got more space to walk. And then I just fall. There we go. Right. Come on now. Focus extra hard. Use the manual override lever below. Yeah, yeah, well. If I don't fall to my death again. Why the right stick though? That's not really we get uh button prompt, isn't it? There we go. Secured. Off we go. No, oh, surely this wasn't a hint here. at all, you know, that this guy Give is not normal. Who, cool. you know, who Done. else is going to agree to do this? this. You're right there, uh, Prof. Bit difficult, I bet, pulling a lever on solid ground. Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi cool guy. fighter. What a score! Good. The real scrappers pay me. I mean, this he's been here what four years? Five. <laughs> Never flew this, but down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. It is, isn't it? Nah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this is just our lucky day. I was gonna get a lot of good material, haven't right? I? Yeah. Here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. Miraculous. All of us risk our <sighs> Madness, I tell you. Absolute madness. Hey, better back during the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Listen to me. Find us free like this? Maybe you can you take it off this sucky <laughs> The pay was better for the Republic. <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up You got your me. Inquisitor outfit on. You don't want to be here. Eventually. You want to be under Darth kind of Vader's uh, Find your destiny. Rule. The Grand Inquisitor. You want to be with the Empire at least, anyway. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. Serving uh, our illustrious Emperor. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, well done, lad. What a shoddy work on the ship. I hope. Ready now. Oh god. Oh shit. Ah, it doesn't hurt us. It's all good. No. Yeah, so I never realised my first time playing this game. Uh, I think I uh, mentioned it the second time. Well, my friend mentioned it to me the second time, maybe. Stop slipping then, you fool. I can't hold on! Yeah, there's a Salak pit. Or a Salak under him. I, I just never noticed. Oh, oh there he is. Look, there's a there. Oh, I'm hard of him right. anyway. Just put him down. Pilot's gun. I just never noticed. I'll get out of here. Just hang on. Like, it's blinking out, right out. there. Look out. For some reason, it never clocked on. Well, I never clocked this thing on. Is barely Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Up we go. Okay, we gotta we gotta move. Come yeah. on. What happened? What was that back there? Was, was that you? What's what me? That was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please try. Hey, hey, hey no, my man. This is treason. Found these out on people like you. I know. 
know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to see here, folks. No forces or what have yous. Just regular Joes out for a stroll after a catastrophic accident. As you do, you know. You holding up okay? Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Kel. I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> so... I know the risk that you took for me. I just... I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Well, you don't have to worry about me. Ah. This place. Thank you, my man. Tom, my Cal's hair is looking uh, you know, more noticeably ginger. Just gotta head back to my place, <laughs> grab my bag. Tapper owes me a favor. It's a shame though, because if they ever make a live action there. version of Cal, he's gonna turn black. Yeah. For some reason, all the gingers do. It's the right shame. While, Even though they could get yeah. the guy who like, okay. voices him because he looks identical okay, to him, apparently. I've, I've not really looked into it. So they'd either get the, the exact same guy and be sensible. Or they would do like they're doing for Triss and Batgirl, uh, you know, all the other ones. Very strange thing to hate. Hate in gingers. You know, it's more than likely a coincidence, but it's a very uh, odd coincidence. Because it literally is ginger people, or redheads. Because Triss is redhead, not ginger, specifically, you know. They're doing it for Red Sonia as well, apparently. I haven't looked into that very much, though, but I'm aware of it. Prof, wait up! And just for the record, Mace Windu is one of my favourite Jedi in all of Star Wars, so... Where are you going? That's not the problem. Not even remotely. It's because it wouldn't happen the other way around. So it shouldn't happen one way if it wouldn't happen the other. Go on. Oh, is that a pop in then? On my shoulder pad? D Let me through. I ain't turning around. You ain't tricking me. Alright, fine. I'll turn around. Dead. Oh, my outfit changed, I guess, to be the Inquisitor outfit, but I already had it on, and I guess that's why the texture popped in, because it was reactivating it? I don't know. Oh no! Battle stations, everyone! Cal's awfully just chill about this, hey, just walk in. Ain't nothing but a thing. Oh shit, it's big man! Apprentice. Mark well and listen. Master. Prentice? Trust only in the Force. If he knows that's his master, why would he get scared when he's seen him? Train has stopped. Yeah. Something's going on. But then again, it might be like he thought he was going to get scolded up. like when a parent scolds someone. Ready. Yes, boss. Move out and line up. Yeah, probably that one. I mean, what else could it be? Rogue Jedi on the loose. Uh, fuck these guys. I can take them. Possibly. Well, 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 look who we got here. Is this all of me? Yes, second sister. Second sister. 
We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common. What was that noise? Actually, blew a raspberry. <laughs> of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Jedi Order. Failure to turn over this Ugh. traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. Oh damn. That doesn't sound good. I think it's time someone came forward. No, you can't do this to me, I my man. We were friends. I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers Holy shit, you are early. Yeah, I had to start streaming a bit early today because I need to finish a bit earlier. I'm going to be watching uh, the movie warped. Old in the cinema at 8, oh. so I need to be able to get there. We all know the but truth. you haven't missed much. We're just too afraid to You've come it. just in time for the, uh, the, the opening Empire. battle sequence sort of thing. We're all just There's been no combat as of yes, right now. You are. <laughs> No! Oh no! Oh my god, my life is red! <laughs> well, well, well! Oh no! I found the Jedi! You found the Jedi? Oh, my back! Oh, that hurts! Hold it! Go, go! Hi, friend! How'd you get here? Easy now. Got a stowaway. Hey, you don't need to call. Stop! Haha! <laughs> -ha! Stowaway. Oh my days! Look at that. They've actually made life in the red. This inclusive outfit must be new. Cause this wasn't in the base Destroy. game. I'm sure. They won't get past us. It's a traitor. Blast them. Move up now. <laughs> ha! You fools! Oh, I got to come both out at once. Shoot to kill. Don't you? Seems to me like you do. Be careful! Keep your head down! <laughs> oh god! I'll steal the cargo door! Well, let's see how well that works out for you, is it? Alright, come on in, Cali boy! One way out! How do you do this part? I forgot. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. Just jumping ahead, does it? Oh, you can climb on that apparently. Gotta keep moving. Steady now. That's how I prepare. Slow and steady. Aha! Oh damn it. And why would he go? I was hoping to see the intro cinematic to this game. Isn't that where you get the uh, Mongolian throat singing? Oh shit, this wrong way. Um, kind of, yeah. Uh, so at the end of the stream, I, I'll quickly um, like start the game from the beginning again. So you can hear the little uh, cinematic, or see the little cinematic. Oh, I need to block, not parry, my bad. There we are. Are we happy now? Yeah, I'm on the ball here, Game. I haven't got to waste my time. Awesome. Just in case, just remind me. <laughs> I'll try my best not to forget. Ah! Hey. Right. Come on. There we go. Right. Up we go. I'll get you. We're losing men. Oh, 
Also, with the, with the red lightsaber, it's like a dark side uh, simulator, by yeah? And I love it. So why are you killing your own guys? You're a Sith, aren't you? Um, where in the timeline does this fall? Uh, so no, we're not a Sith. Um, I got an extra outfit for some reason. It must have been added to the... Re uh, so this is what your character's supposed to look like. Like this. Anyway, let's go back. So this is Cal. You got his blue lightsaber. And you got your little poncho. But for some reason... Uh, there's an Inquisitor outfit, and now I get to have a red lightsaber, so we go and uh, we pretend to be a Sith. Uh, I believe this is set uh, between episodes 3 and 4. So, the final movie of the, uh, oh, it's called prequels, and the original Star Wars movie. Um, Darth Vader is at large, Palpatine is the Emperor, and Yoda is on Dagobah. Leaving here alive. Aren't I? It's an awfully bold claim. So yeah, my guy's just pretending to be a Sith. I'm the new star killer. Stop the train. Cover. Curses. Gotta move in between bursts. Now. Go, 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 go. Yep. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Um, so, at this point now, like Emperor Palpatine and uh, Vader, I guess, are trying to uh, kill off the remaining Jedi, or at least... Faster! Vader is trying to kill off the remaining Jedi. And Palpatine, I don't think, really cares at this point. I'm ready for you. There are two uh, dangerous ones left. But anyone who is discovered to be force sensitive or believed to be a Jedi are future Shot the coupling like out. And I just Gotta had to uh, reveal myself by using the force. Ah! And now the Inquisitors are trying to kill me. Oh, damn. Like a shark in two here. Uh, up you go. Whoa! This is bad. Nah, no, you're fine. You're one with the force, Only and the force is, is with you. Yeah, I believe at this point as well that the troops are probably, or possibly still clone troopers. They probably haven't converted to, um, like, actual uh, people yet. They might still be uh, the vast majority of clones. But maybe that's not something they addressed in the game, I can't remember. Because when the Empire first took over, they didn't instantly swap from clones to actual humans. I mean, this uh, game is too loud <laughs> with the headphones and the radio and the talk. I feel like I'm shouting. That's better. We're here to help. Who are you? No time. Who are you? Keep moving. We'll pick you up when we can. You could have said that. Well, you could have said who you are instead of saying that. Come on, then. Let's get out of here. Off we go. Yeah, with the uh, opening cinematic, I don't think it's actually a cinematic. It's like um, a pan from like a distant area over to Cal, I believe, is all it is. But then it has got that. Uh, the Mongolian fraud music that you want to hear. Jedi's hey! Nobbit. <laughs> Look, now you're dead. Hope you're happy with yourself. 
Excuse me, friend. You said deflecting wrong. I am blocking. I am deflecting. And missing, apparently. Uh, for a moment, I heard Sadie there. We'll come pick you up uh, when we Train can. Stuff. <laughs> Seer is cool, but uh, she's no Sadie Adler. Sadly. Then again, no one is Sadie Adler but Sadie Adler. It's a badass woman. With a this badass accent. But it can be amazing. Whoa. And jump! Oh, thank God, the automatic doors are still working. Yeah, steady, steady. Jump now. Okay, oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> no. Yeah, I did it. I am the greatest. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the respawn didn't expect anyone to fuck that up as bad as I just did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure they expect everyone to be able to, you know, to uh, aim that jump nicely and then there's me coming in with whatever the hell that was. That was definitely the force. That was not you. <laughs> Do what? There's someone else around you who just like force pushed me when we weren't looking. Nice light, uh, nice uh, red lightsaber. I've got one too. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who's your master? Teko Balaba. Can, Is it Teko? Someone what Balaba. I gave their life so that That's not his master's Shakti. Ah. This is too easy. Ah, going for an unblockable, is it? You anus. Yeah, I'm pressing B game, I'm not a fool. Hey, I can't use force powers yet, this isn't fair. You can't match my speed. Yeah, then how come I just hit you, eh? Let's end it. Yeah, I lost. But you're supposed to lose. Come on, tap into your rage, my man. Use the dark side of the force. Hey, that's not the position I might save us in a second ago. That stance looks awful. Oh, it's a Jedi stance, isn't it? There's, uh, is it the seven forms of uh, combat. Each of the seven forms have a uh, different function. Like one of them is designed for one-on-one -on -one, uh, lightsaber combat. One of them is designed for one against many. One, like I don't know them all properly. I don't know. I know some. I believe one is like uh, focused on defend, uh, deflecting against uh, blaster bolts. I believe one is defense as a whole, which is Obi Wan Kenobi's um, stance. Good. The Sarisu is a Taru. Uh, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head now. Why is there number two? Well, those are two of the forms anyway. Plus, Cal hasn't actually used his lightsaber in five years, so he's probably a bit rusty on the old uh, lightsaber stance. Okay, shut the Hi, all. Grab some seat. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Who I actually know people? the stances. Did some my reading on Jinder. Wikipedia. And this is my captain. Priest as they Rikes. never come up in the movies. How you doing? Uh, yeah, the don't they? My I ship, thought. But you better pay attention to this lady here. Maybe they so, don't. Maybe it's just the extended universe you, and that the stances come Kestis. up by name. Who was that back there? Imperial Inquisitor. 
She's a force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she That's weird. You'd think they'd come up in the prequels, at least, since, you know, they're kind of in Jedi school for certain parts of those movies. Track Imperial Communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. Their names don't, at least. Yeah, that yeah. does make sense. What's the bounty on Jedi these days, anyway? No, I'm sure they do. Uh, uh, like, because don't they mention how? Um, You've been surviving on your own for so long. Or is it in one of? The, is it like in the Clone Wars TV anyone. series where they say that Obi Wan Kenobi is? I think it's the Master of Sarisu. No, he's not a Master Sarisu. Or master of Sarisu. He is the like Master of the stance as a whole. Like, the Jedi Order. there are people who are at the class of Master. Where he has completely Jim. mastered the class. He is like the pinnacle of that fight oh, in stance or fight in form. You. But maybe that's in the extended Jedi universe. Because what's uh, Mace Windu's form? Because he created his own form that lets him tap into the dark side. Because he can use the dark side to a degree without it actually corrupting him. Captain. Um, I forgot what the form is called though. I'm sure you never hear them in the movies. In the meantime, you you could very well be right. I want it. I got my switch by here. Let me quickly jump on YouTube on Go the switch yourself. while this is playing, and I'll see if I can find yeah. any mention of the. Uh, I'll see if that um, that thing I'm the scene I'm thinking of if it's from a movie or like the Clone Wars TV series. Right, let's have a look here. Where is my YouTube app on this? Oh shit! That's Smash Bros. Oh, my good friend. And you were staring at me in my sleep, creep. Vapad, that's the one. Yeah, you were, you were really good with names. <laughs> I forget things so easily. Honestly, I'm an embarrassment to any uh, flipping, what you call it, fandom I'm a part of. Because I forget names. So often. No matter how like immersed in something I get, at some point I'll forget so many names. And it makes me look like a fake fan to uh, others, I reckon. Because there's also one of the uh, the stances which is uh, for dual wielding. And what am I supposed to do then? Oh, it's the guitar, isn't it? Because uh, this was a power that they gave... Uh, no, it's not that bit yet. Oh, here it is. I believe this is the power that they gave uh, to Cal, and then they had to go and give it to one of the uh, one of the new Star Wars like Jedi as well, because they couldn't let Cal have his own little not so much unique power, but unique within the newer characters. I th maybe it's Ray they gave it to, or someone else. I wrote it years ago. Master of Surrey Sue. Touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. Right, so his fight didn't stand, it's so his form is Surrey Sue. The object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Yeah, yeah skip this intro. Do I know you? Master Wing. No. But I knew your master, Gerald DePaul. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Hmm. Something happened to me during the purge. Well, when you click on the video, it doesn't actually show it. So maybe you're right. Maybe that but quote isn't from the movie directly the then. Or maybe they don't uh, mention it directly in the movie. That's weird how they didn't. How they don't mention any of the forms it's in like the movies. It's so, so strange. You survived, Cal, and you're not alone. Is it just me, or do her eyes look too big for her face? Because I always feel like she has giant eyeballs, and I don't quite know why. Maybe it's just me. This is Pagano. 
a Jedi I knew. Ah, Bogano, home of the uh, you won't find it the ever wonderful Ogdo Bogdo. The Empire doesn't know this place exists. No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here. We're done hiding, Cal. God, See look how ginger he is, man. I believe that vault holds. I never the really noticed him being so Jedi ginger. Order. I'm not sure if this is but just because of the the current the gen upgrades just made everything more noticeable, or my Since TV upgrades that made it more noticeable. Me. But he's super I ginger now. Don't trust me, and I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have. Then why did you pick me up? And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. Your eyes do bulge a May fair bit. Yeah, I'm glad it's not just me. Like, later in the game, you get to see a flashback of her when she was a Jedi. And it, like, her face fits her body. Because she got, like, massive, like, dreadlocks or something. And the eyes then fit the face perfectly. Guess I'm looking but for when, a Jedi now then. that she got, like, the proper. There's already one here. Why does her need me? You know, the shorter hair, I guess. Isn't no way of saying it, really. It, like her eyes just look really big and not quite in so proportion. So place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. All right, let us meditate on Sia's giant eyeballs. You're a wizard, Cal Weasley. <laughs> Cal Weasley. <laughs> yeah, he's the Weasley that no one ever talks about. Cause he's a he was a weirdo, swung around a lightsaber, then swishing a wand. Right, I thought I did New Game Plus. I guess not. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Alright. Ah! It's the obligatory hey, droid. BD1. I'm oh. Cal. Wait, how do you know his name? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. Searching for a Who just walks up? Hi, I'm BD1. Hold on. You know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on. Did you just slice that? Thanks. <laughs> Are we easy to don't talk about? Um, well, there's Ginny, Ron, Fred and George, Percy and Charlie. Is there another one? Because Charlie is the one who's in Romania and trains dragons. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Well, if there is one that they don't talk about, I've completely forgotten about him. Because I've read the books and watched the movies. So maybe I've just completely forgotten who this mysterious Weasley is. <laughs> right. So we are here. And we want to be there. Alright. Can I get off the map now, please? I don't care. Oh, there we go. I didn't rotate enough. My apologies, game. I think the books mention a distant relative at one point that the family doesn't like to talk about. Because he's turned his back on the wizarding society and works as an accountant. I, I'll have to look into that. That sounds brilliant. Definitely have to change his name, though. You're not going to be walking around in the uh, the muggle world with a last name of Weasley, are you? I sense something over here. Hi, I'm Dave Weasley. Oh, you know, it's just not going to work. So, what am I doing? Right. I don't need to be exploring. We're doing the main mission, yeah? Although if you want to like level up and uh, get stronger, easier, definitely explore. Because if you uh, find force echoes and stuff like that, you gain experience from them. And then you level up and get skill points faster and easier. So, definitely do that. Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap I'll collect somehow. any that are on the main... Uh, on, you know, on my way, but I won't go off the beaten path or beaten track, if you want to call it. We got, um... I'm inclined to believe uh, this relative is in fact our protagonist here. This is now canon. We are playing as Caleb Weasley. 
in <laughs> his in-game name is fake. All right then. How'd you know that well, would work? I won't dispute it. Wait, you didn't? I have no reason to believe that you were incorrect. Right, we will save the game by here. Well, not save, but rest. And let us attempt to uh, fight Ogdo Bogdo. I hear you. He is a something over here right, I want to explore. Right ball ache to fight. Especially at the start of the game, because he's one of the four legendary uh, like monsters you can find in the game. And they're just a variation of just a standard monster you can fight. But, as you can probably imagine, a lot stronger. Oh yeah, LB to just ignite your lightsaber. Look at that. Nice hearty red glow. I love to see it. Right, so this is Ogdo uh, Bogdo, the giant uh, space rod. Hey! Hey! Right, I was dodging then. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, I can't do it the easy way. Right, so he's got all my uh, excess, excess experience now. The only options you have is either forfeit them or run back to kill him. Well, hit him once. If you hit him once, you get your stuff back. Let's let's um let me check something. Come on, game. While we're young, what's this loading time about? God, that was that was long. Yeah, the the easiest way to kill him is to wall run across there and jump on there, but we haven't got the ability to wall run yet. Because uh, there's a hole in the ceiling and you can drop down and do like um, a fall in attack to start off the battle. That will obviously give you a, a nice advantage on him. Remember dying in Diablo 2 and having to run back to your corpse to get your stuff back. Uh, basically what it is, it's, it's only experience though. Because there's no currency in this game, like there's no shops. So. And since I didn't really have much excess experience anyway, I, I don't really need to be doing this. I'm just going to have uh, maybe like two or three attempts at Ogdo Bogdo. Alright, slow down there, buddy. Okay, buddy. You killed me then, despite I was pressing B to roll. You know, it's, it's very strange. Alright, I'm not going to fight him again. I'm going to run back and clock him on the nose so I can get my experience back, though. But It's very weird how much damage he does. And I just noticed I've never even considered countering him before. I've Like parrying. I've always tried dodging. Maybe that's why I was dying so much against him before. And maybe I'll try one more time to kill him at the end of the stream, or near the end. After I've got my wall running, so I'll drop down from the sky and clout him on the head. The only bad part is you can't do that on a loop. Because once you drop down and hit him, if you run away to do it again, he'll have full health again. So that you can only do it as a one-time thing. It does give you a nicer uh, leg up on the competition, though. And this loading screen is taking forever. I feel like I'm on, last, I'm on the last gen consoles. What's going on here? Right, let's go get our uh, our experience back and then we'll run away from him. Oh, see, where's Lord Vader when you need him? He'd be laughing at us dying against Ogdo Bogdo of all things. This is also why I wanted to do New Game Plus and not just... Wait, I wonder, am I on not New Game Plus? No, I don't have any of my pawn... Oh no. Oh yeah, I am on New Game Plus. So you still don't get to keep your um, your weapon, your upgrades and stuff then, so never mind. I am on New Game Plus, I just didn't realise I had to unlock all my skills again. Alright, come over here you! Alright, let's freeze him again. No, don't target him. This is mine now! Ah, shit, it's not mine now. Alright, fuck off, is it? Hey, right, there we go. 
<laughs> Cheese it. All right, we nearly dead. <laughs> but it's all good. We got our experience back. Nogdo Bogdo is no longer a problem for us. For now. Alright, let's quickly meditate to get our health back. Uh, let us rest. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be continuing with the story now. Doing it properly. Careful over there. Doesn't look safe. Then why are you on it? He's a tiny little droid. What could he like, you know how you're at more risk than he is. Hold on, I'm coming. But it's Speedy One's fault, isn't he, for starting a fight with a giant mole rat thing. Yeah, what do you got? So you just want to collect all of these that you can. You just get a nice bit of experience storage. out of them. They kept food and supplies. That's where that bar is at the top of the screen. That's the uh, like the progress until a skill point bar. Oh, wrong button. There we go. My man, what are you doing here? That's pretty brave. You okay? Wait. Oh no, his little I chicken leg. That. Will you let me? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it suppose makes sense with Cal being a scrapper and all. He's probably pretty now. decent uh, with technology to some degree. Okay, try that. I've always found it weird with Star Wars. Like, I guess Cal is different because he is force sensitive, and I believe it's a lot easier to understand other Vault. languages yeah, as a force sensitive. Too. But why can some people okay. just understand well, Wookies and droids and others can't? Out of this place. Oh, have I got access to all my lightsaber upgrades? Cal's Red Inquisitorious Crystal. Oh, yeah. So we got all our colours. We're sticking with red. All these ones bug me. Passion and Strength. Just tell me which one is Anakin's and be done with it, you know? Protection and defense. Well, that's probably Obi Wan Kenobi's, at least by name, anyway. Passion and strength would probably be Anakin's. So let's go for passion and strength. See what it looks like. Up, please. No, I haven't. Where's my? No, it has to be passion and strength one then apparently. Um I dunno. Dura steel. Have we got any um what you call it? I forgot what it's called now, fucking because Dura Steel is what uh Django Fett's armor is made out of, isn't it? Um what's the other one called? See? I'm a fake fan. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Beskar, that's the one. No, we get no Beskar, fine, we get Dura Steel then. There we are. So you get to play around with your lightsaber a nice bit, which is fun. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Well, you can get out the way you got in, probably Cal. Tight fit, but this should work. So a little buddy you're helping him out and he's just doing nothing but bitch about it. Oh, it's tight squeeze. Ooh. Well, use your own way out then if that's too tight of a squeeze for you. Well done, Cal. Expertly done. Go. 
Oh, I wonder what'll happen if we hit this. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> Healing stem. They're full of surprises. That's better. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. What a lazy little droid, eh? Got two legs and everything. How'd you get here? I want to ride on my back. I take I advantage remember. of my longer legs. I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Ah, shit. Uh, hey, a chest. Stupid. I think the Jedi would mind ah. our supplies. Tis already open. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. You can feel it. It's the only thing of, like, I don't know, any sort of stature or anything that's worth looking at in this area. Big temple. Oh, that's where we've got to go. I'm sure of it. I don't know, what tipped you off? The fact that Sia told you to go to the temple. And that's the only thing that looks templish. Everywhere we've been. Alright, can I get off the map now, please? I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. So this is New Game Plus, why are all the tutorials here? Like the game thinks I haven't, but well, the game knows I finished it. So we can't do wall running yet. We can't shoot backwards up those yet. We can drop down here though. Yeah, you can do that to Ogdo Bogdo. Oh yeah. Do this for the uh right, game you've I've already rested. <coughs> Keep up, is it? This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Well, unlucky for him, innit? Or her. Because I will reach the vault first. Oh yeah. Right, so this is a non Ogdo Bogdo. Run for it. Run for it. Ah. Aha. Hey, dodge it. It's funny because look at all me. I'm killing the big aggressive guy. What are you doing getting involved in eating knobhead? Ah, oh, shite. Now. Heal me, damn it. Aha, take that, you swine. And as for you, you little knob, hitting me when I'm trying to kill the big guy. There you are. Off with his head. What he deserves. Yeah, the ability to heal, that would have been very helpful against Ogdo Bogdo as well. So you want to come in here, so we can uh, learn the ability to wall run. So, oh no, what do I do? Alright then. And you run this way. Oh. Oh, you can scan that. Give me some free experience, my man. See something in there? Do you think how someone can forget that they know how to run across walls, isn't it? Yes, the path is difficult. 
may seem impossible. Jaro Tapal. Assistance and the force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Yeah. Do what you must to reach me. Okay. Hey, what you doing all the way over there? I did okay. it. Persistence in the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. I still maintain this game's uh, whole Cal forgetting all his force things are very strange. Like forgetting or not being able to use force pull and push and stuff. I guess it's kind of understandable, but forgetting to wall run and double jump feels a bit stupid. How do you just forget you can do that? Just reminiscing. Oh, when I was younger, I could jump and then jump again before touching the floor. Yep. Not quite sure how I forgot that one. But here we are. You know, it's, it's not about. I could also run across walls, too. Now, I just jump near them and slide to the floor. Not quite sure how I managed to run across them, mind you. He runs like he's forgotten to run as well. He kind of like looks like he's about to fall forward, doesn't he? He runs, he's stumbling like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Left, right, yeah, here we go, here we go. We're getting it. Poor Cal. Life on that planet is uh, really messed with his head. There we are. Now we can run across this way. And then we jump. And then we jump. And then we land. Oh, we don't climb up there. Are you see there? Oh, it's on. It's not on. He's wrecking you, mate. We're not finished yet. Aha, okay. loser. He's on my back. I'm in front. Probably. Yeah, but you didn't. Oh. Yeah, you can scan it. Find something? Let's go down here. Or in here. Yeah, it makes sense. Because why wouldn't it do that? Force echo the vault. Amazing. Hello? Anybody home? What'd you find there, friend? Reach. You the all vault. right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed oh, hi the there. test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the drawer. Oh, I've always wanted to win a recording from a man I don't know. Cordova. I may not oh, know your best name, friends, then. but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside. Then why didn't you tell Yoda, Jedi eh? The leader of your order, Containing a list huh? of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only <gasps> trust this holocron to oh, someone no. who has followed my path and understands. Seek out. The hidden tombs what if the they follow sages, your path and they don't and understand the same way the you do? Of the force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the force be with you. Cheers.
I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. Yeah. No way to How does this help you understand, Cal, my man? I find it weird that her name is Sia, because it kind of looks this is like Siri, not Sarah, not Sia. Maybe I'm wrong. It just feels like the pronunciation and the spelling don't look like they should sound, or it doesn't look like it should sound like that. Like Sandini, I know like you said that's I think I found a what French you word, to but it still like looks like Saint Denis. We'll Oh yeah, I would have won the way back down though. Hi there, friend. Hey. So I do shit out. Oh, I didn't even block where I can't. Oh, he's wrecking me this time. Heal. I pressed up three times then before he gave me a, a stim. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, ha -ha, you suck, you giant frog. Loser. I'm out of healing stims. Okay. We have to make do without healing stems. Nice dinosaur look. Possibly the rest of the previous dinosaur. I can't interact with those. Get my ninja skills out for you again. Don't want to show off too much, mind you, but a little bit of showing off here and there. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Oh, this guy again. It appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. Dathomir? But that's a dark side nexus. Any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Okay. Yeah, if a uh, BD runs off. You, if you this? follow him, you get a free scan, or free, but a scan, so experience, isn't it? Sadly, there's no like returning characters on Daphomir. You don't get to see like Darth Maul or Savage or Press or Old Daka or Mother Talzin, which does feel like a, a wasted opportunity. If you ask me. The Courtship of Princess Leia was a great book. I I haven't actually read any Star Wars like novelizations at all. I've um like read comics and watched extended um like extended universe things, but I've never oh wrong button. I've never actually read any of the books. Right, let, let's uh, try Ogdo Bogdo again. Now that I remember, I can just block his attacks rather than trying to dodge out of the way. Because when I'm dodging him, he's still hitting me anyway. Right. So if you pay attention by here, you'll see there's holes in the floor. And I believe it's this one by here. You should be right next to Ogdo Bogdo. There he is. Ah, take that, you little bastard. Huh. 
Yeah, what do you got? Frog's legs for dinner, is it? Stop doing unblockable attacks, you know bit. Oh. Got you now, you bastard. Fucking have it. Yeah, and there's an easy way to kill Ogdo Bogdo. You just gotta drop in on him. Because as you've seen, that was like, what, a third of the health right off the bat, or maybe close to half? And also remember that you can uh, deflect the attacks. That's also a good one, a uh, good method for killing him. Remembering what you can actually do. Right, the fact that he's running off my shoulder, there might be something over there for me to uh, interact with, but don't worry about it. We go. Oh, hi there. Go and scan it. Look at the little cute thing with giant eyeballs. Boglin. Right. Hello. You can actually, uh, there's an achievement in the game for getting a crew, uh, sort of, um, get, uh, getting the full crew. The way how you get that achievement is you play through the game to get all the crew members bar one, and then uh, come down here, and you get this boglin to join your ship when you unlock force push, because you can push this out of the way, which I, I can't do force push yet, and then... Uh, that boggling will join your crew, but not really, like it'll stow away and steal food, but it still counts towards that achievement, so that's the final crew member that you need. Yeah, I've got every achievement on this game and platin uh, platinumed it on the PlayStation. I really enjoyed it. And that's also why I'm playing it on normal, because there is no so achievements related to difficulty, Come on so board. We'll talk inside. there's almost no point of torturing yourself by going for oh, Jedi Grand Master difficulty other than because you want to. And if you want to see me struggling through it on Jedi Grand Master difficulty hashtag, it's on my YouTube. I don't care who is with you. Have any idea how hard it is to get oil state out of patrolling me fabric? Not really. No. No, I do not. Something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, you did right, Cal's. The vault was built right. by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from drugs. Times. Many, many drugs. It contains a list of force sensitive children. On all. The next you generation. Know, a massive variety of, of the buggers as well. I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Bit neurotic, oh, that man. Minute, wait a minute. A <laughs> yeah. A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one well, right here. Force wielders, isn't it? I'm pretty sure a Sith could open a Jedi holocron. Use the Force. But a Jedi can't really open a Sith holocron because you need to tap into the dark side, I believe, to open them. This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to ah, report Obi -Wan that the Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Oh, I love that. With that, that is so of cool. Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and the Zeppo homeworld. Well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, well, before we do anything, General Kenobi. Hello there. <laughs> How come you're no longer a Jack? Well, close enough. 
changed my perspective. Right franchise, so wrong I movie, wrong trilogy. From the force. <laughs> but close enough. But you still want to rebuild the order. I believe that rebuilding no, the I order did. is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? <laughs> I it's a very confusing empire, family tree. So I don't really have a choice. Well, as long as you're alive, <laughs> you will always have a choice. Are you with us? It's a confusing family tree, isn't it? It is. We're in. Darth Mir Zepho. It's your choice. Zepho, because Darth Mir is very hard, and I'm not able to do a full two-hour stream today, so I'd rather get progress rather than just. Watch me get killed by spiders for 20 minutes. Where are we headed? <laughs> no, she's not the most versed in uh, Star Wars lore. She has watched most of The Mandalorian, though, and a little bit of The Bad Batch when she can be bothered to pay attention, but she doesn't really care for it. She's watched um, a Solo, a Star Wars story, you know, like the worst Star Wars movie. Or one of them, anyway. We are um, I believe she's also watched, like this is I watched them and she was in the room, so she's kind of paid over, attention to bits here right and there the for um, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, but she didn't hang around yeah, for been, like uh, Revenge of the love? Sith, the best Maybe movie in the trilogy and Let me tell you, in the whole series the in my opinion, or saga I guess now isn't admiration, it? Devotion, attraction, it's not the best movie. I, I didn't realize it, but apparently the guy who plays Han Solo is a very, uh, like, uh, what do you call it, um, like, new actor to the point where he had an acting coach on set that was directing him in between takes, apparently. And I'm pretty sure, like, a load of things in the movie, they, um... They explained the things that never needed there. to be explained and this ruined them as a result. The time to land. Yeah, something strange. Like, um, I Those believe they reveal the Han Solo's last name being Solo storm. for a reason well, rather than just because it's a cool sounding name. We have to get there. Copy that. I just don't recall what it was, what the reason... I'm sure it's because he had no name and, so, and he's, uh, he's alone, so he's Solo. And that's why they called him Han Solo, as I think is what it was. Oh. But his name is being Han Solo because he's a badass and Unless cool name. He's much better than oh, he's sad and alone. He's Solo, to keep his to and his name is Han. I'm sure everything's under control. It's under control. It's just a little. Like tricky. that thing works in anime. Like in Fairy Tale, there's a character called Urza Scarlet. Her name is Urza because her name is Urza. She okay, didn't have on, a last hold name, hold on, hold on. so her close friend named her Scarlet because she has bright red hair. That's oh. Urza Scarlet. Huh. Oh my god, Perfect and that's another character. If they ever made a live action Easy version, way, I would put, I would a lot of interference put on money on Urza Scarlet being turned into uh, Urza Burgundy. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack oh, Urza Brunette. Because she's white with red hair. And you know what You know what happens to white, Cal, red-haired characters. So I think Cal is the only uh, ginger who would survive going from anime, we'll a game, to live action and so not we'll being turned into a black guy. Because the whole this guy is actually based on an actor who looks identical to him and also voices the character. So they'd probably just give that guy the role. I, too was intrigued by the mysteries of our uh, I believe he's um, Joker in the Gotham TV series. I've just never seen it. So I take it they'd probably make him Cal. Since he already is Cal. To be fair, though, with the whole not staying true to the actual original character design, as long as the actor or actress does a good job, I don't care. I just still find it strange why they do it, just for the sake of doing it. In the courtship of Princess Leia, C-3PO combs the archives for Han's heritage and finds out he is the heir to the throne of Corellia, which his family lost generations ago, becoming mobsters. Ah! Oh. Did you know that in the new comic series for the Star Wars uh, Marvel run, uh, they uh, retconned uh, Han Solo 
So he's not a badass scoundrel. He was pretending to be a scoundrel and he was really a rebel all along. And he was never like a, a spice runner and a re like you know, like you know, like an actual rebel, not a uh, not a rebellion to the uh, the empire. He was actually just a rebel all along, and he served the re rebellion. Didn't serve himself as a, uh, a lone wolf with his giant dog friend man, Watch which out, I think baby. is the worst retcon ever because it did not need to happen at all. He's hand solo, goddamn it. Yeah, take that, you stupid rat. Hey, swing your lightsaber, you stupid knobhead. Make contact, you stupid knobhead. Right, fine, you can scan that first then. Uh, and Han was born Han Sul, but changed his name back to Han Solo because he knew about his heritage. That is not a retcon I like. I, well, it's pointless, isn't it? Like, it just ruins the character. It does nothing good for him. So it doesn't need to exist. Okay, I'll look. Because there was something else they'd done as well. Um, I believe it was... Uh, what's her name? There's a character in the comic. Um, I can't remember her name. But she's like a, a scientist of some kind. And she worked with Darth Vader for a while. Like Darth Vader agreed not to kill her if she uh, was provided... You know, was useful to him, basically. Oh, I forgot about him. And... There's a certain uh, like comic or little screenshot where she describes all the people of the rebellion, and it's like, oh, Han Solo, useless, Luke Skywalker, pain in the ass, uh, Leia, badass female general. So like you're just dicking over all the guys. <laughs> I was like, what's the point of this? You know, people have seen the original trilogy. You can say what you want. Luke is a badass. You know. Luke is the one who uh, helped defeat the Emperor and turn Vader back to the light side. Not Luke, uh, not Leia. So, you know, you can call her a badass woman, which she is. But you can't undermine Luke's importance to the story. The entire point of Han's character development is self-serving uh, serving criminal, hero of the rebellion. Exactly. When you, you get rid of the whole, something. he was never self-serving, just pretending, his whole character arc and progression is destroyed. He's gone from pretending to be selfish to showing you that he was never actually selfish. You know, what, what sort of a progression is that? Pretending to... Fine, let me tell you the truth. Should be here. Wait, can he carry more? Thanks, BD1. I, I just don't like Disney Star Wars. They seem to hate all the original characters of the old ones, except for the, the female characters. Which is fine to like the female characters of the older, mo like the older things. You know, Leia is amazing, Ahsoka is amazing, Asajj Ventress is amazing. But that doesn't mean Luke, Anakin and Obi-Wan aren't equally amazing. It's, it's so bizarre. They're all fantastic characters. It doesn't matter if one of them has a penis or not. Well, the thing about it, they've never dicked on Mace Windu, because I suppose, because of their whole political agenda, Mace Windu being black is what protects him from them shitting on him all the time, like they do with all the other characters. Which isn't something I thought about until just now, because I was just thinking of the characters who've got shafted. What? Even Yoda gets a shaft in. And everyone loves Yoda. And he's a little green frog man. Like, you know, what's not to love about him? He flies around with a tiny little green lightsaber. It's fantastic. But, but then again, he probably has a little green penis, doesn't he? And that's where, he's, that's where he went wrong. Who's damaged? Oh shit, I am as well. Thank you for warning me, lads. I do appreciate it. 
I know it's why. Oh, I'm making sure. Oh, thank you. I don't know, for some reason I thought it was like a nail on the floor or something. <laughs> So that would be a show I'd be interested in them making, because they're making the Ahsoka live action show. And the Sarge Ventress show would be really cool, because how she's gone from Night Sister to fake uh, Sith Apprentice, because she couldn't officially be one because of the whole rule of two, into a bounty hunter. That is a really interesting character progression. That would be really cool to have a deeper dive into. Oh, you wish. I will make many more mistakes. Don't you worry. Last mistake, he says. Honestly, this guy. What a jokester. <laughs> Isn't she the bald, scary, dual-wielding lady? She is indeed. Uh, she is um, from Darth Maul. She's a night sister. So she's from the same place as um, Darth Maul. Except she was recruited, I guess, uh, by Count Dooku. Who was the apprentice, not the master? So she couldn't officially become a um, uh, like a Sith apprentice, but she was like uh, a Sith assassin, I believe. But per you know the rule of two, she wasn't allowed to be uh, a Sith. But you know, Dooku, I believe, was training her to be a Sith, so he could overthrow his master potentially. But he just never got to that point. Uh, she's mainly in the Clone Wars TV series, and I, I've already just ruined her character progression for you, so I apologise. But she's a really cool character, and you should consider watching the show. She is definitely a highlight of the show. Oh, no. And her, as well as Ahsoka Tano, who is in The Mandalorian, so you've seen her, uh, you know, are two examples of fantastic female characters in Star Wars who uh, were done way better than Rey. And characters that people actually enjoy. So when people, you know, get called sexist for not liking Rey, it makes no sense. She's a bad character. Or mostly bad character. Especially when there are examples of fantastic females or, you know, women in Star Wars. It's silly. They, you know, they should have used them as the template. Especially since Asajj is dark side and Ahsoka is light side, so they have a good and a bad character that they can draw from in more recent years as well. Obviously there's others, there's Leia, but she's not like force sensitive, there's Padme, also not force sensitive, but she has a big part in the Clone Wars TV series. There's Shakti, she's part of the, uh, the Jedi Council as well, so you know, she's a Jedi Master. Um, I think it's Deco Balaba. I might be saying her name wrong, but I believe she was Mace Windu's apprentice. And she also knows Vapad. I think it's her anyway. Or there's one of her. Uh, because she's like the Indian woman. Uh, there's uh, Yaddle? Yeah, uh, Yaddle, who is the, uh, the female Jedi of the same race as Yoda. It's just a weird thing when people say there are no good female characters in Star Wars. Obviously, the percentage isn't 50 50, you know. Don't, I know I'm not even going to pretend that it's equal. But then there's all the shit male characters in Star Wars. As a result, there's a few bounty hunters as well, but their names aren't coming to me for the moment. There's like a, this pale ish skinned woman with like a ponytail who uh, works with young Boba, who's really cool. Which way am I going? You, I force push you down, but that's later. I think I have to make that jump. I just can't make it. Young Cal here just can't do it. But yeah, you really should watch the Clone Wars. It is long, so it might be a little bit daunting on that front. But the weirdest one, though, is um, in the new Bad Batch, they made a female clone. How can you have a female clone when the original clone was a male? And the excuse is it's a genetic defect. But women aren't genetic defects. 
So, you know, you can't be a defect of a man and be a woman. That's, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. And especially when humans are being born, don't they start off as female first and then they to, you know, develop the male organs and such? Because I'm sure they start, everyone starts off as a woman, like, through the original, like, as a fetus sort of thing and developing, and then you'll develop into whatever gender you're going to become, or, like, you either stay the same or change to a male, isn't it? I haven't looked at it in years, so I may be misremembering that. So it's weird to call it a defect. So what's the time now? Right, I can still do I got I can do like another ten minutes or so, so so so. I'll have to relook into it. I could I could be misremembering that. I haven't studied science in like well seven or eight years. So there's a good chance I'm misremembering some important facts going on there. Maybe you start developing a penis instantly. Maybe I'm wrong on that front. But even still, the two genders are not a defect from one another. So the whole having a female clone and the excuse being it's a defect and not it's a different clone and the, the donor for this batch of DNA wasn't Django Fett makes way more sense. Because then you'd have the whole like, oh, who is it then? Who is this person that produces such a high quality clone, you know? There's more intrigue in it and it's better, I'd say. Oh, ah, can't catch me. Because then they'd have, like, you know, free reign to just create a really cool new character. If you, you know, oh damn it! No, if you like Omega, then you get two cool characters: Omega and the person that she was uh, an offshoot of. Come on! Ah, nailed it. That looks like a problem. Um, that was an opportunity for a Wilhelm screen right there. Sad. I think there is a Wilhelm screen in this game. I might be wrong, but I'm sure there is. Uh, don't fall off the cliff, Mr. Angry Goat. There we go. Let's scan the Angry Goat. Cause that's, uh, I don't know, like, the, the direction Star Wars has been taking recently is just not for me. Like, I'm buying the comics, The High Republic. I'm supporting it, cause I, you know, I'm trying it, I'm giving it a chance. But... All the characters they're adding, they all have to have gimmicks, and it's really weird why they need gimmicks. Like, the most ridiculous one is there's this guy who has a dog. And, like, one of the first, like, tenants of the Jedi Order is not to have attachments to things, and the guy's got a fucking dog. It's like, what, do you even pay attention to the law of Star Wars? Remember to restart the game for... Yeah, I shall. We'll make it to um, a nearby, uh, what you call it, a meditation point, and then we'll do that quickly. <laughs> but, you know, it's just silly. Giving the guy a dog when they're not allowed to form attachments to anything. Alright, after this one now. Oh, too late. Uh, up on that is a secret, so we're gonna go up there. Ha! Right, we will do the other stuff first, then come back and use that uh, meditation spot for the save. Which means we can't die, because if we die I'll be sent back to the other meditation spot. Also bugs me as well in um, the sequel trilogy movies where Ray learns to force heal people and like you know stop people from dying and literally in Revenge of the Sith this Palpatine says when Anakin asks him can, uh, you know, can you reason. learn this ability to find literally says not from a Jedi 
and Ray, being a light side force user, learns the ability to heal people and stop them from dying as a Jedi. It's just like... I'm not sure if Kathleen Kennedy made these decisions, but whoever made these decisions in Disney just wanted to screw over the, uh, like the original canon. Just make Anakin look like a right tool. <laughs> you know, it's so strange. Right, we'll rest by here then, and uh, oh, and there we've got free skill points by What's this? Uh, Cal's defenses are improved, allowing him to take less block stamina damage. So let's get that. Uh, uh, if we get the dash and strike, I suppose. A dashing strike for a dashing man. Leaping slash. Oh, evasive kick. There's an achievement for this uh, ability. For kicking someone to death. <laughs> you just dash, dodge and kick them until they die. So it's a bit of a grim way to die, really. I will save by here. Right, and we quit by here then. And for you, Hastrika, we will quickly load up the game again. So you can see uh, or experience the throat singing. So for everyone else, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like or subscribe to the channel or both if you have enjoyed. Maybe check out my Twitch, The Cosmic Turtles, and I will hopefully see you uh, on another stream. And for those of you who want to listen to the uh, throat singing again, here we go. Well, he was a tool, wasn't he? In the most literal sense. Yeah, that is a fair point, but I mean... He's also an idiot then, because he didn't do any independent research to see if what Chancellor Palpatine was telling him was a lie or not. He just took everything at face value. Yep. But obviously that's not the case, they just added her in because I guess they thought it would be a cool idea to give this new character the ability to heal people and also resurrect them from the dead. More or less. Yeah, take that, you probe droid. Listen, I don't want to upset your rhythm, Cal. There you are. And that is the throat singing. The the it's going to disappear in a few seconds. It's quite quiet now as well. There you are. It is gone. There you go. That was the throat singing. Let's right. hope that didn't uh, overwrite anything. Because <laughs> I didn't do a manual save. Oh, could you imagine now, Hashtag, if you made me lose my save? I'd cry. Maybe. Let's check. Bogano landing pad. No, this is alright. We got Zepho. It's okay. I got my 100% save there because I'm amazing. On Jedi Knight. Yeah, I did the harder difficulties on PlayStation. Right, we'll leave it right here for today. Take care, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. It'll be mo the more regular time of around about 6 o'clock tomorrow. And I will hopefully see you then. Take care. All good. Alright. Uh, have a good evening, Hastriga.